Hello AWS friends and welcome to this video where we're going to have a look on Amazon Bedrock and try to generate some images. So as you might know that at the last re-event was a lot of announcement about AI and uh, Amazon Bedrock is one of the services which is going to be uh, pushed a lot so time to have a closer look. So you should um, maybe switch to the region North Virginia where you have the full features of Amazon Titan already and Bedrock already ready. As you can see these are the supported regions but not all of them are really uh, in the same way supported as North Virginia. So you have to sign up for and request model access. Uh, as mentioned you can see here a lot of providers um, for example, there's something from Meta also or Stability AI. We're trying uh, Amazon Bedrock and Titan um, image generator, so we have to request um, the model access. And as you can see, I have already done this. So you have to perform this in advance. And then we can have a look here on the playgrounds to images. Select a model. Titan image generator and apply and now we are ready to go. So here's already the most important thing, the prompt. And uh, here on the right side we have some configurations. As you can see we have two modes, the generate and the edit mode where you can upload an image, reference image for example, also in here. Uh, some uh, settings on quality and landscape and the number of generated images I will go for now with one and yeah ready to have a first try a lion on a rock and we press enter or the run button and should see an image in a couple of seconds and here we go so looks quite nice and let's download this image and so far the first test was quite good let's have a different test what about a light on a rocket and as you can see titan decided a line on a rocket should not be realistic so he made up this image here. Interesting. Let's try something new. What about Darth Vader in a kitchen? And let's press run. And we're getting an error. This request has been blocked by our content filters. So it's interesting. Uh, seems to be a conflict for the AI policy. So Darth Vader in a kitchen cannot be generated. Well, what about a stormtrooper? Let's see if this can be done. I'm a Star Wars fan, so I would really like to have some kind of Star Wars image. Yeah, a stormtrooper in a kitchen can be done. It's interesting, Darth Vader not, but the stormtrooper is possible. Let's try another image. I would like to update my background image here on this website. So this, as you can see, is this uh, JPEG of this laptop in these uh, blue colors. And so let's try to create maybe something in the same color with some sky and uh, clouds. And here we go. Well, as you can see, first thing, um, Bedrock um, resets the number of images to three. That's actually not what I wanted. I wanted only one image. And another thing, this color doesn't really seem to be um, the RGB value, which I've entered. Um, I have tried these a couple of times with different syntax here, also with the hash code, the hex code for colors. Um, I didn't manage to, to create an image um, in these colors. Um, I have also um, searched the documentation. There is no kind of description on this. If you find out how this works, please 
uh, drop down a comment. I would really be glad to know how to give these kind of information here in the prompt for the image generation. Let's try the edit mode. So I will upload my stormtrooper in a kitchen and maybe we can add here in this area a bottle of wine. So this area is obviously the kitchen bar and I would like to add a bottle of wine. So let's see. Well, that's not quite, uh, doesn't look like a bottle of wine for me. So it had changed here the kitchen bar, but that's not the result actually I wanted to get. Let's give it another try. What about uploading a car? And we are marking this area here. So the car seat and we want to add a girl on the seat of the car or to the car. Well, there is a girl in the car, but yeah, not quite perfect, I would say. One more try here in the edit mode. Let's mark the car. And I would like to have the car not on this place, but maybe a car on a country road at sunset. What about this one? Oops, that doesn't look like my car on a country road. So concerning these um, edit modes and the mask prompt, you have to try a little bit your own. I'm not quite convinced yet about this functionality. I think uh, there's still a little bit space for improvements. Uh, let's have on a more interesting feature. We can already call um, Titan also by API and therefore by Lambda. Here's a little Lambda in Python, which is going to try to create an image of Titan and then um, uh, store it in a S3 bucket. So let's have a look on the test event. On the test event we need a prompt and a file name and let's give it a try with uh, this time two lions on a rock. And by now it should call Titan via Boto3 and create our image. And once done we could have a look in our S3 bucket if there's an image with two lions. So we go to images Titan and let's refresh and here we have lions and we can have a look download the image and here we go so the API and calling it by lambda works fine of course we have again the same limitations with the prompt um, I think we need to study better still how to give certain commands with the prompt, how to uh, edit images. There's also a lot of space for improvement still, I think, by Titan and Bedrock. But um, give it a try, have a look on your own. Um, this is the Amazon Bedrock site, and here you have all the, the functions and menu. So far for this video, I only tried image generation here from Titan. There's also chat and text. And as mentioned, you have a lot of other foundation models. You can check out these. So have fun with Amazon Bedrock and see you on the next video.